Hello, YouTube. How we doing today? What's going on, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2. Episode 2 of... Part 2 of... Yeah, all right, whatever. Hi, everybody. <laughs> uh, let's say hello to the chat. Check it out. Jeremy McGee, my brother from another mother. What's up, Jer Bear? First one in the chat, man, you bad motherfucker. Chasing Games, hello and welcome. Stickman4131, what's going on, Stickman? How are you, sir? Uh, let's see, we also need to say hello to Phoenix. Hello, Phoenix, welcome in. And Nomad416, failed to get first again. Curse you, Jeremy. I mean, that's pretty stiff competition, man. That's... That's uh, you got to get up awfully early to come out uh ahead on Jer Bear. That's my boy Jer Bear right there, man. You got to get up awfully early to get the jump on him. Uh, let's see. And Nightbot is hard at work on the clock, right on. Um, wait a minute. I didn't type. How are y'all doing today? Where did that come from? I actually I didn't type that. Did I? I don't think I typed that. Oh my god. My, sh my keyboard's possessed, man. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I am super excited to play some more Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, oh, you're playing uh, Days Gone New Game Plus right now. Right on. Oh, hey, and check it out. Y'all like my new hat? Huh? Yeah? Uh, we got a selection of hats uh, from Captain Caffeine. He sent us some stuff uh, to our P.O. Box recently. Uh, check it out. I got to show these off real quick and then we'll get started. I'll save I'll save what I think is the coolest one for last. Uh, okay, so this one, I, I hope this shows up on camera. The green screen shouldn't kill it too bad. This one is just a really cool looking uh, kind of geometric T-Rex. Can we see that at all? No. Over here, maybe. Right here in front of the mic, maybe. Yeah, you can probably see it right there in front of the mic. Uh, and then the other one, this one is uh, The Last of Us inspired. It's a Firefly symbol. That's pretty cool. This one actually, it's, this is my favorite cap out of all of them. Just the, the hat itself. That's my favorite cap. Uh, but you have to have it like perfectly centered or the firefly thing looks, it's like noticeably off center if you don't have it just right. And this one is Meow Talica with a uh, sort of Metallica logo and a bunch of kittens on it. Uh, my daughter has uh, uh, indicated that she would like to have that one. Y'all can't see any of those in that little bitty frame, can you? Anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're super cool, man. This is actually, this is my, the one that I like best. Uh, I feel like it looks pretty good. All right. So I had the mission monster culling selected. We're going to deal with the monster threat. So this, uh, uh, like the captain of the guards or whatever wanted me to go out and, uh, kill some, uh, kill some monsters. And what he didn't know is that. We were going to do that anyway, but, you know. All right. I do have some other missions I can set out on. I have a couple of different ways I can go. There's something to the north and east. And something to the south and west. And honestly, I think... I think if we take... I, I love the map in this where like stuff is grayed out, like all the terrain features are grayed out, but you can basically still see the roads. I don't know how well this is showing up on your on your screen, uh, but you can actually see the roads uh, here. Let me zoom in a bit so we can actually see the path that will take us there. It seems like a fairly direct path. There's a little bit of exploration off the main path there, but still. Might reveal aught of interest. And what is, what is it they're telling me to read? One of my helpers said I should read something. I heard him saying it, but I didn't catch what they were talking about. Anyway. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's go. So I've only got to play a little bit of this on my free time. I stayed up <clears throat> a little bit late last night and played for a while. About town. And uh, but that's about it. And of course, the weekend that it released, oh, I didn't want to come like straight here. This is not quite where I wanted to go. We still want to head. Oh, well, shit. Actually, what exit from town takes us that way? Ah, I've got a brain. I should have taken this uh, northwest exit here. 
The queen Look at the big the brain on Rex. Can't find his way around a medieval town, man. This fucking guy. Oh, stick man, you're working and lurking? All right, bud. I, too, am working. If you want to call it that. There we go. Okay, so we'll just head out here and uh, head west from here. It looks like it's like pretty much... Uh, do not jump off of that. Don't you dare fucking jump off of that, homie. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> it looks like it's going to be basically just kind of follow the coast here. Take this little road. Yeah, we're pretty much looking right at it. Y'all reckon it's that little tower off there in the distance, just above where my bow is pointed at? Let's go see. <laughs> yeah, stick man, you think your work is fun? Oh yeah. I enjoy what I what I've been doing here lately at my day job. Um, <clears throat> most of you will already know this. Uh, I, I I'll give my regular disclaimer here. Uh, I live in Colorado. Uh, and in Colorado, cannabis is legal. So, uh, I got the brilliant idea to go to work in the cannabis industry here in Colorado. Uh, so what I've been doing most of this week, uh, in the mornings, I do a, a mildly frustrating job of uh, picking off all of the fan leaves, just the, the big, you know, your classic looks like a pot leaf leaves. Uh, but when the plant hits a certain point of development, it really doesn't need those anymore. And it's just wasting energy uh, by making those leaves bigger and bigger. Uh, so you remove those leaves to encourage the plant to make bigger fruit or bigger buds instead. So during the first part of the day, I do a good bit of uh, plucking those leaves off. We call that defoliation. Uh, and uh, then on the second half of the day, I do my favorite job that we do up there, which is... Uh, pruning off the bottom limbs. So you get some uh, the limbs that are on the bottom of the plant. You prune those off again to make the buds grow bigger and healthier. And uh, that's one of my favorite things that we do up there. It's it's both physically easy. Uh, you're, you're sitting on like a little rolling stool and just snipping limbs off, just pruning limbs off the bottom of the plant. So it's super easy work, but it's real fast paced. You're expected to, you know, snip, snip, snips, uh, you know, real fast paced. But um, it's easy work and it's really kind of satisfying to do as well. Um, I don't know, it's kind of zen, man. It's like relaxing. Um, just kind of working your way around the plant, doing whatever the plant needs, really. Yeah, not today, ma'am. All right. So, yeah, but anyway, uh, that's what I've been doing all week. On the first half of my shift, I uh, just plucking off leaves, working your way up this each branch of the plant, plucking off leaves. And then on the second half of the day, after my lunch break, I go in and I start trimming off the lower limbs. Uh, and it's, it's super satisfying stuff, man. It's so easy. Uh, it, it's, it's like physical work, you know, you're, you're working at a really fast pace, but it's not like backbreaking labor or whatever. And like the whole time I've got, I've usually got one of Claire's live streams on in my earbuds, or I've got like, uh, an audio book playing, or I'm just jamming to some music, you know, just whatever, just, just working and jamming all the time. Uh, let's see. Chasing games. Are you streaming on Friday? Days gone. Yes. Uh, Friday is pretty much always days gone. Uh, for the foreseeable future of this channel, uh, Fridays will be days gone. And we need to say hello to Webster Ross. What's up, Ross? Welcome in. And Nylon Girl 92. Hello, hello. Hi, Nylon Girl. How you doing? Welcome in, y'all. Thank you for joining me this evening. So I, I really am super excited for this game. Um, I hope to put in a lot of hours and get better and better at it. Because this is a pretty action-heavy game. A lot of dynamic combat. Which, I mean, that's that's really the kind of stuff that I enjoy. 
<laughs> that was kind of funny. He was over there just hacking that poor thing up. I wonder if... We would be <laughs> they just did a fist bump. That's hilarious. Um, all right, so... In the last stream, we kept getting our asses kicked by these lizard guys down here. Are they still... They still spawn in? Or are they gone right now? I don't see the lizard assholes down here. Hey, we can actually go down here and get this loot if the lizard guys aren't around. Yeah. I was going to see if we could fight them this time. I've gotten a little bit more powerful. I've unlocked a few abilities. Um, I've gotten some new helpers. That's... What the fuck? I don't know what that is, and I don't think I want to know what that is. Oh, it's just like some kind of like slime monster or something. Yeah, why don't y'all go and like tear that shit up for me? I think, I feel like my magic users would probably be the best bet against that stuff. Be slinging some magic at it for me. Ew, it's like a big puddle of goo. Greenish slime. Okay, that's what it was. It was green slime. Crazy enough. I'll get that for you. Steve Elliman. Hey, Steve. What's up, man? That was weird. It's a weird enemy type. It's like some old school Dungeons and Dragons shit. Some uh, slime mold monsters or uh, what is it like? Uh, the uh, the gelatinous cube <laughs> from Dungeons and Dragons. I haven't thought about that in a while. Oh shit, I've already missed the road. We need to be further south. So we need to basically follow this land. We need to go like due south this way. Back across the bridge, I think. Let's see, we can we go south? Oh look, there's a chest up there. We'll have to figure out how to get up to that chest. I see, so part of the problem is just Finding how to fucking get there. Yeah, I don't know that we can go this way. This way may be impassable. We may have to come back up here to maybe the campfire and go south. Or see if there's a bridge up here. Damn it, boy. I don't think we can go that way. So this is part of the problem. Is um, just finding it. And you have limited time. Because you really do not want to be out after dark in this game. Like, certainly not yet. Uh, being so early in the game. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I just leveled up from killing a fucking pig. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Uh, anyway. But yeah, what I was saying is, you know, one of the problems is that uh, you really do not want to be stuck out after dark in this game. The world gets fucking dangerous after dark. And, um... Uh, so you have to camp uh, regularly, and you only have so many hours to explore, basically. I think we've just found our road. Is there any way to climb up there? I'm not sure what we'll find, but it might be something useful. Oh, yeah. Well, find us a way to climb up there, then. Or not. So I found out something new just recently. I didn't know this. Like, you can see down here in the bottom left, you have the commands, go, wait, to me, help, whatever. Uh, but when your helpers say something like, hey, I think there's a hidden chest over there, you can hit the button for go, and that's a signal to, we'll get your ass up there and open it then. <laughs> if they can figure out how to get to it. Ah. Uh -huh. I see. Okay, here we go. The road has been revealed. Oh, little bastard. Prepare yourself. <laughs> nice. Oh, wrong button. Let's 
see if we got any loot off these guys. One of the things I love about this game is when your helpers cast like a fire enchantment on your weapons, they get that really sick looking glow like that. I fucking love it. Uh, there's different elements too that can add like lightning damage or fire damage or whatever. Uh, lightning, cold, and fire, I think. But the fire is my favorite. It just looks the coolest. Loot! Oh yeah, I think those uh like increase your carry capacity or something. Oh hey, let me catch up with the chat. I see the chat moving a little bit here. Mm -mm -mm. Need to also say hello to Warhorse 500. Warhorse, what's up, man? Uh, Chasing Games asking... Yes, this is... I believe this is PS5. Uh, I'm sure it's available on Xbox and stuff too, but it is a, it's a current generation game, so it, uh, it won't play on like PlayStation 4. Uh, older systems. Oh, we, do we have enemies on us? Oh, it's more of that mold stuff. Wish me to return at once, Master. Where did it go? Is it just back under the water now? Oh, well, that's lame. I wanted to kill it. See if I can tempt it to come back out. Hi there. Mm -hmm. Don't you look at me like that, young lady. Hi. Oh, okay. Everybody say hi to Claire. She's uh, trying to distract me. Am I being all cute and shit? Oh, okay. Yeah, we have found the way forward. Love you. So we essentially just want to keep heading south and west here. The Who Fan One. What's up, Who Fan? Ah, uh, 4-Bit is doing much better, thank you for asking. Uh, he actually uh, um, ate a good lunch and held it all down all day, and he didn't have much appetite for dinner, but he hasn't <clears throat> he hasn't had any stomach problems. He just didn't have any appetite at dinner time. Oh, you're getting um, Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, oh, that is a fantastic game. She might require spanking later. We were going to do that anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Worn out, boy? It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. We just left town. Shut up. Get your ass to work. Punk ass bitch. Uh, I mean, anyway, um, what were we saying? <laughs> yeah, let's continue on the path south and west. Very well. Back to your side I go. <laughs> oh, it's going to be lizard assholes. Oh, I can already tell. I can tell by the egg sacs in here. So if you press the help button, they should start uh, casting. Yeah, here we go. Like casting buff spells on you and stuff. So now we can go in immediately dealing fire damage as soon as we start we're probably about to die oh okay you just said fire doesn't work well on these guys we may want to try something different and who was it was it? Oh, i can't recall now who reminded me about the tip uh that these guys are weak to tail shots a tail shot counts as like a headshot with these guys their weak point is actually their tail My only complaint about, like, some of the magical attacks is that they actually, especially if you're in a dark area, there's so much lighting effect going off to the magical stuff. <laughs> wow, did y'all see that? He just threw that motherfucker across the cave. 
Uh, but anyway, what I was saying is uh, there's so much lighting going off for the magical attacks that it really interferes with your night vision uh, when you're in caves and dark areas and stuff. You're still in combat? We must be. Uh, oh, I think he's already killed it. What is it? The fuck is he fighting? Little lizards or something, and these guys. Uh oh, you get the fuck off of me. No, yeah, that's right. Hit it with some lightning. Do lots of that. Yeah. So, I was going to say something else I did was I went and I hired some more powerful helpers. Uh, because you have like your primary pawn, your, your main follower, uh, that they just level up with you. Uh, you don't even have to worry about it. Just like as you get XP and level up your main follower will get XP and level up as well. Uh, <clears throat> but your other helpers, like in this case, my two wizards that are with me, my spellcasters, they will not level up with me. So I have to replace them periodically with a helper who is equal to my level or higher if possible. What I did was I uh, went back and I hired a couple of wizards that were a little bit higher than my level. So they're actually pretty fucking badass. Oh, okay. Uh, a real life naval battle that happened there. That's interesting. You know, I don't, I don't know much history on stuff like that, which I really regret, honestly. Well, where's the symbol to activate it? There we go. And have I missed saying hello to anyone? Looks like we've got everybody. We've said hi to everybody that's in the chat for now. Anyway. Yeah, man, thanks for being here. I know this one is uh, you know, it's probably not going to get great views. Uh, but I fucking love this game. I, I know the game has been getting a lot of hate recently uh, because it is it is a rather expensive single-player game. It was like 70 bucks uh, is the base price for this game. And it's got fucking microtransactions in it, man. So, I mean, like, I get the business model where the game is free to play and you uh you know it's free to play but you have microtransactions available and stuff like that i get that but in a single player game it's like no man i'm no just no uh but i'm not okay with all the hate for it because honestly this game's fucking incredible and absolutely worth playing uh, I am having a hell of a time with it. I intend to... <laughs> shit, I intend to do a full playthrough and a New Game Plus playthrough if I can. Because the gameplay is just so much fun, man. They've done such a good job with it. I mean, what other game can you do a fucking jump-spinning heel kick on eggs to break them? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Fucking jump spinning heel kick. <laughs> oh, enemies. Time to go. Hey man, don't be fucking with my spellcasters like that, dog. Trying to hit old boy's tail. That's right, give me some of that lightning on him, yeah. See, I can't. I can't even see the enemies. There we go. We got him vulnerable now. There it is. All right. Now that went fairly well. These can be difficult enemies. Uh, I know. In the uh, first episode, we were fighting some of these lizard lizard guys, and I actually died several times because of it. Oh, there's one off in the distance. Oh, there are people fighting him. That's interesting. Oh, and look, there's loot up here. Let's see if we can give this guy a hand. Fire 
Well, if fire won't do us much good, then maybe you could stop putting fire magic on my weapon and give me something that does work. Any of you guys got like some lightning or some cold magic? I guess I need to, um, I do need to hire some slightly different helpers so that I can balance out their abilities better. Now that is very likely reached from somewhere else. Now let's go back over here. Hmm. I'm not sure how to reach that. Probably from inside a cave or something somewhere nearby. That looks like a land bridge of some sort up there. Maybe that'll take us there. Yeah, I think I can get up this way. Can I? Can I get up this way? I cannot. It doesn't go anywhere else. Well, shit, that was deceptive. Oh, what the shit is going on down there? And is it on our road to where we're headed? Oh, fuck. Oh. Alright, well, let's give it a shot. Oh, and there's some, someone down there fighting him, too. That's almost dead. Did that motherfucker just try to jump kick me? Time to go. That, he just jumped kicked me. This dude just like literally drop kicked me. Uh, I'd really like to get up now if that's all right with you. Thank you. Fuck off. Okay, here we go. Now ready to go. Uh, no, really, where the fuck is he? There we go. Oh, wow, she can levitate. That's kind of cool. Fuck. I wonder if it's possible to dodge that stuff. <laughs> Still popped him right in the face. dodged at that time. Shit, missed. There you go. Give me some more fire magic. Well, we didn't take much damage from that. I think we got out of the way of it pretty well, but we did take some stagger damage from it. Stamina. Oh, we're getting him. Oh, give me some more, give me some more magic. I shall obey. Not necessarily you. There we go. I need one of my spellcasters to help me out. That's what I need. I love that she can levitate. That's really kind of quite cool, actually. Alright, so we've got him down to his final health bar. That's right. Hammer that motherfucker, yeah. Where's his head at? <laughs> I can't see for all the fire for all the fire damage going off. Come on, I 
almost there. Almost got him. Got him. Woo! All right. <laughs> that was actually kind of intense, man. I'm a boy. Considering the might of our combined experience, what other outcome could there have been? Death and destruction. Death and dismemberment, perhaps? Alright, yeah, shit, that was fun. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. The combat in this game is really dynamic. There's just so much going on. And as we get uh, leveled up more and gain more abilities, it'll become even more intense. Oh, hey, there was more stuff there. Neat. They're casting spells. That means we probably have enemies on us. <laughs> yeah, fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, he jump kick and teabag you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been drop kicked by an ogre before. That was interesting. Oh, I see. There's one hiding right there. Look at that. Oh, wrong button. Oh, I forgot you can zoom in for more accurate shots. I don't know how I just did that, actually. What was that? I think I've been shooting my bow wrong all along. All right, and it's getting close to dark now, which is not ideal. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Okay. Save game. <laughs> oh, harpies. I don't necessarily want to mess with the harpies right now. Why not? So he can. Does he actually auto target? He does auto target a little bit. Yeah. Fuck, I didn't even know he could do that. Yeah, see, I haven't even been using my archer properly. I didn't even know we could auto-target. I've been uh, going in, like, aimed shot for everything. So I do not like that it took us so long to get here. Because now it's like dark and we're still not done with this mission. We haven't even reached the location yet. So we are going to end up being stuck out in the dark for a while. See, I didn't even know we could do that. I can just hammer on them like that. Didn't even know that was a thing we could do, man. Uh. 
Yeah, see how dark it is now that it's nighttime? It's like, this is not ideal. Oh, chasing games, you're heading out. Nine eight uh two AM where you're at. Damn. All right. Well, hey, thank you for being here. I appreciate you uh coming and hanging out with us. Especially considering how late it is there for you. This creature is hard as stone, making it ideal for tossing it down other foes. That's an interesting thought. Oh no, we're getting some level ups in. Nice. I would love to be out here exploring, but I don't want to explore at night, man. Is that a campfire? Ooh, that's a campfire. Okay, good. We could actually go over there and camp. And, uh, can I catch? I can. We can catch fish. That's neat. Cool. All right. So we can come over here and camp at this campfire. And that will completely replenish my health and also make it first light for us, which is nice. Yeah, cool. We just got to save and the ability to camp right on. Let's go ahead and do that. And I, I actually just found out recently that you can use, you can reuse these modest camping kits or the camping kits. There are better versions that are more durable and l way less, uh, but you can use them over and over. I didn't know that uh, unless we get attacked uh, while we're trying to sleep, which is one possibility. They may attack us uh, at camp while we're trying to sleep through the night and that will destroy the camping kit. Uh, but there are better versions, like I said, that are more durable and also way less. So they take up less of your inventory capacity. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and camp for the evening. Use modest camping kit. Yes, please. Hopefully we won't get attacked in the night. Okay, and I believe you can do like skills and stuff too. But excuse me, I have a little bit of meat. So let's go ahead and yeah, let's go ahead and cook this. Oh <laughs> wow, that's cool. That actually looks like fucking meat cooking. Wow. That is killer animation. I wonder if that's live video and not at all an animation. I'm all for swapping stories. But perhaps another night. I can scarce keep my eyes open. I quite agree. At best we recuperate our strength before we set off again. Can add some firewood. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know how to do your skills from here. I've been told or I've read that you can. Oh, I see down at the bottom there it shows what buffs that I have. Looks like damage, defense, and maybe health. Oh. Master is simply fond of camping. How else to explain why we so rarely stay at inns? Uh, inns cost oh, like two thousand gold for one night, ma'am. You gonna sleep your ass on a sleeping bag? You understand me? <laughs> sleeping bag is good enough for you. <laughs> anyway. Ah, here it is, right here in the camping menu. Equip skills. Oh, dude, I keep forgetting I have fucking exploding shot brain. How does one forget they have exploding shot? Yeah. Well, I just forgot that I have explosive arrows. I didn't even know. Fucking brain. Right. 
So we have each one barrage, sweep shot, which doesn't really seem to be very effective. It's like supposed to shoot arrows in a wedge pattern, but I haven't really seen it. Must not have much of a spread on it, I think. Blow it all up. Woo! <laughs> Rest till morning. Yes, please. Yeah, all right. Now we can continue exploring, and I think this is our mission. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much... Well, no, here's the village, and then right behind the village, still south of the village, is where the actual mission is at. That is... appears to be humans moving around over there, so might not be enemies. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I can't wait to get to a point where I can get out here and just walk around and explore. I'm... Really excited for that. I <laughs> love the way they smash chest in this game. Okay, this person I might actually want to hire. What are your skills? I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. What else can you tell me? Pawn details. Hi, yeah, come on in. Good night, Bubba. Can I have a hug? I need a little because I'm gonna get sleep. Good night, baby. Sleep well. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> see, I'm trying to see. <laughs> I see she has those are her spells over there. She doesn't have any healing magic, but she has like fire magic and lightning magic, but no healing spells. Okay. <laughs> her name is Eileen. Yeah, I didn't even catch that. And she got some, some muscular ass legs, don't she? Yeah, I don't think she's really any better than either of those spellcasters that I have right now. Oh, wait, what do we have here? Harv Village, Coastal Settlement. Anandine, yeah, the healing spell. Yeah, I, I like to have one. There's a, there's a spell called Haladam uh, and a spell called Anandine. And I'm probably not pronouncing those correctly, but Haladam is, removes debilitating statuses, like if you're set on fire or if you're poisoned, things like that. Uh, and then the other one, Anandine, is the healing spell. So one is to remove debilitating statuses and one is to heal. And I like to have at least one of my spellcasters having at least one of those spells so that I have each spell available to me, but just from each from one different spellcaster. Because uh, what I'll do quite often in a lot of games uh, that allow you to have two spellcasters in your party, I'll have one that is all death and destruction and one that is mostly healing and buffs is how I normally do it, uh, so that you have both covered. smash the stuff? I don't think we can smash that stuff. No. <laughs> Excellent. Just what I was hoping for. Oh, is there something there? Oh shit, there is. I didn't even see that there was loot there. I thought it was just smashed an empty box. Um You know, the interesting thing about that front kick that you use for smashing stuff, uh that is can actually be fairly effective in combat. Uh, against smaller enemies, like goblins and stuff. Uh, early game, I got some kills on goblins just by kicking them in the fucking head. That was pretty damn satisfying, actually. <laughs> nope, there's something else in there. What is in there? Ooh. I'm spending way too much time exploring.
there's a campfire nearby. If necessary, shit, we may backtrack and go camp again before we actually head out. Now, I believe you can also use these benches to pass the time. So, like, you don't necessarily have to camp for the night. I think you can also just wait on a bench. Oh, shit, hack parachute. Hey, man, welcome in, brother. How the hell are you? Oh, shit, check it out, man. Hack Parachute has gifted five Sponicus Rex channel memberships. Damn, son. Uh, so check it out. Chasing Games, who just left, uh, is now a member. Uh, congratulations, Chasing Games. Uh, Mared Block. I'm going to pronounce that wrong. I'm sorry. OC, what's up? Machiavelli2127 and Solomon are now members of the channel. Congratulations, folks, and thank you, Hack Parachute. <laughs> Kicking him in the head. Yeah, Warhorse. I'm telling you, man, that was that was some seriously satisfying shit, man, to kill a goblin by just kicking him in the fucking head. <laughs> oh. so much fun i mean dude i'm telling you i recommend this game purely just on how satisfying it is to kick stuff in this game it's like it's absurd this is too much fun like you shouldn't be able to have this much fun kicking stuff in a game it's like you come home from work all pissed off it's been a bad day at work fuck it i'm gonna go kick some stuff <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful thing <laughs> Truly a wonderful experience. Uh, I recommend this game on that alone, man. Uh. <laughs> Texans lock our head. I like kicking folks in the head, too. I've always been a fan of that. I mean, it's like the two hardest parts of the human body. Uh, the, the bottom of the heel of your feet and your fucking skull. Uh, so it's like, you know, the two hardest parts of the human body. I think maybe what the the leg bone might be uh, in competition for dense bone structure. No. Wrong button. All right, let's go this way. Oh, actually, what is this? Is this a traveling merchant over here? Let's go have a look. Hi. Trust you in my humble wares. Probably not, but I'll have a look. Hmm, I'll go have a look at it. The bench between the buildings there. Okay. Now I know uh you may just be seeing that you can uh sit on them. Uh mundane capping kit. Huh. Much obliged, sir. Mm, yeah. Hardest and largest single bone besides the one in your mom jokes. <laughs> Trust me, I am a medical professional. Yeah, see, this bench here is flashing uh, because you can sit on the bench to pass time. Uh, is this the one that you saw, or was it a different one? Because I know there's another one. I see it on the map right over here. Yeah. Which we may actually do. What shit? What time is it? Aren't we're facing west? Where is the sun at? Nah, it's a little too cloudy. I can't quite tell what time of day it is. Uh, now, I haven't figured it out yet but i believe the position of the sun 
here on the map has something to do with the time of day. I actually haven't figured it out because I've seen it because I don't know. Maybe this half of it is like the top half of it is night because I see the stars and like maybe the bottom half of it is day. So we're still like at daylight. I, I haven't quite figured out how the, because uh, that is the clock. That's your sundial, but I haven't quite figured out how to read the fucker yet. Ah, there's something here. Nearly 3,000 gold. That's nice. Stumble on that. That was the one? Okay, cool. Yeah, which, uh, again, I'm not sure. Uh, you may be able to actually rest on those uh, and pass the night, um, but I don't know if that works for sure. I haven't tried it yet. I guess that's what it's for. But I don't know yet if you take negatives for just sitting there rather than resting because, uh, you know, Resting is require is a required action. Uh, I have too much shit in my inventory. I'm wearing some armor. I intend to keep that. These aren't that heavy. Perhaps we could combine some items. Great deal of health. I thought if you combine stuff with, like, meat, then you could make different stuff, just a fair amount of health. No. Ah, here we go. This will do stamina. I don't really understand how this works, honestly. Yeah, and a lot of gold, too. Shit, yeah. Okay. So, maybe you can't combine these, because that's what I'm... Yeah. We'll see what happens. Fuck it. Hmm. What did I just make? A fine. Oh, I see. Oh, hello. That did make a stamina thingy. It's a highly nutritious pellet. Consume it to recover an immense amount of stamina. That's nice. <laughs> Staying at an inn soon. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> Wrong button. I should have made two of those. Mm hmm. No, wait, we're still over-encumbered, though, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, I gotta give some shit to my helper. Oh, no. Yeah, well, that was enough to get us under our encumbered weight. That's hilarious. Yeah, okay, we got a bunch of, like, crafting materials. There we go. Much better. There we go. All right. Now let's push forward. Old Lighthouse. Well, a lot 
of crafting supplies up here. And some loot. stuff all over the place up here damn right as I start thinking okay I'm gonna quit running around picking flowers and shit it's like oh hey wait there's something else right there which in this game the, those are worth picking up like uh all of that stuff you can make really useful shit with it oh come on man let me back up there Come on, man. Let me air. Oh, shit. I thought we had it that time. Ha, 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 ha. I felt like we could make it. Oh, look. There's a rift, a rift stone down there. That's a fast travel point. Oh, shit. Okay. We'll have to figure out how to get down there. Is that perhaps where our mission is? Looks like the road down should take us there. Man, there's been a lot of stuff up here. This is cool. I'll have to remember this location, especially with there being a rift stone down there. Uh, that makes it is like this is a convenient fast travel point. Yeah, we could get down there this way, but I don't know that we could get back up in that direction. Yeah. Huh. And let's see, the actual mission is just right down there. Okay. Basement of the lighthouse. <gasps> Boxes to smash. That's a beautiful thing. Didn't get much for it, but still. Yeah. Got some stuff out of there, though. <laughs> yeah, trying to climb over a mountain that the game wants you to go around, yeah. Just constantly hopping over one spot. <laughs> it's like trying to climb the mountains in Skyrim when you don't actually have, uh, you don't actually know the way forward. One thing I love about this game, though, I was talking about this earlier, on the map, you can actually see the roads. I don't know how well you can see this on your screen, but even in areas where you have not removed the fog of war yet the map is still fogged out you can see where the roads go that's one of those things in skyrim i had to down download a fucking mod for that hmm doesn't appear to go any further up Hmm. Well, I was kind of hoping this would be where the mission was. Oh, another chest. Nice. Winter's Path. That is. Hey, do not jump off that tower. Boy, what are you doing? <laughs> like, sometimes the climbing controls are a little bit too dynamic. It's not quite as bad as, like, some of the Assassin's Creed games where you're just trying to run in a straight line and you end up climbing a fucking wall all of a sudden. That he won't get off of. Hmm. I actually uh, assumed 
that was where we were supposed to be going. Is it not where we're supposed to be going? Further south of here? Oh, it's got to be. Okay. We are headed down there then. Gotcha. Let's go activate this wake stone here. Or rift stone. Yeah, fast travel point unlocked. Now we're heavy again. Can we camp at these? Or is this just a place to cook? Can we do anything with this? We can't interact with this at all, can we? That's unfortunate. There's a bench here for passing the time, though. Uh, how oft must I repeat myself, you bumbler? Hmm. <laughs> Let's trade some inventory around a bit. <clears throat> and now he's too heavy. that around a little bit I love a nice chest oh you've come to a dangerous place scaly beasts make this their den we've been dispatched to cull them here's the mission a small force ventured inside though I've seen neither hide nor hair of them since seems the battle is hard won I'll not stop you if you wish to explore, but don't look for my aid if aught goes awry. So it's down this way? Oh shit, I don't know that I want to go off in go off in deep dark scary hole. Yeah, I don't know about all that. I see this is back to the village. Ah. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Brain. All right. And it looks like I still can't quite tell where the sun is at. Looks like it might actually be moving to the west now. And let's have a look at the clock. Yeah, see now the sun is up here on the compass or I, I don't Maybe that means that maybe it's moving this way. It's moving counterclockwise, moving into darkness. Get in that hole! <laughs> well, let's give it a shot. Storm. There's a haze over oh my eyes. Can anyone hear me? We need help. I don't want to fall here. Uh, would one of you fools give me some magic, please? 
Is this where I'm to draw my last? Whatever. Concern it. More of the same, it seems. Hmm. Yeah, do not take any more of those. Lost! A chance to use this. Tail shots. <laughs> like a nice chest, Jer Bear. I like some nice tail too. <laughs> to think I'd be caught unawares. I am shamed. We were overconfident in our. Uh, well, I did try to tell you all to cast some magic on me. You just weren't paying attention, I guess. Oh wait, there's loot up there. There we go. I, I am saved. Big hand jump. Yeah. That's crazy. It's like I knew I was about to get jumped too. It was like, oh shit. Let me try to get out of the way. Nah, too late. Oh, that's another friendly down there. Daily Lad, welcome in, Daily Lad. What's going on? Yeah, it has been a while, man. And yes, this game is unreal. I am having so much fun with this game. I just, I just want to keep playing it and playing it and playing it. That's that's all I want to do. Thanks to your valor, I shall live to fight another day. Almost a year. Yeah, man. Shit, that means you've been a member. Pretty much since we rolled out the YouTube memberships. I think January is the anniversary of us starting the YouTube memberships. No, no, that can't be right. I don't remember now. January is when we did our fundraiser, I think. And Captain Caffeine. What's up, Cap? How are you, sir? You like my new hat? There we go. I have no idea what I'm shooting at right now. Well, I kind of had a target just then. I could see him a little bit. Now, there was a second one up there, though, wasn't there? I love her little teleport, her levitate ability. That is so cool. Wicked cool. I like how it gives her um, options, movement options as well. Like she was able to raise herself up and get the angle on that enemy to open fire on him. That was cool. I'd like to be able to do that with my archer. <laughs> It does have weirdly Lord of the Rings vibes, doesn't it? It kind of feels like playing some of the, uh, the early 2000s Lord of the Rings video games that came out. There were a couple of, uh, I think it was EA that made those games. One of them was actually pretty fucking good. It might have been the Two Towers, I think. 
Oh, the Mystic Spear Hand. Okay, yeah, it takes a while to unlock that one. Yeah. Forgive me. Yeah, I'm I'm really only a few hours in. I'm maybe ten hours in. Twin Towers, yeah. For yeah, I think I played it on Generation One Xbox myself. Uh, but yeah, that was a great game. You rescued the soldiers in Harv Village. Yeah. All right. Well, let's push on, shall we? See where the cave goes if we explore a little further. Oh shit! It's not like a curative to fill one with them. <laughs> High five. No, I can feel so alive. Let's not quite. Let's not go that way just yet. I want to look up here first. I'm glad we did. An ore deposit. Well, you don't see that every day. Do you I imagine not? my master would faint were I to return beyond the rift with it. Oh, yeah, I'm glad we came this way. We found another chest and some more eggs to smash. Ooh, a serpentine circlet. What is a serpentine circlet? Can't wear it though. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Okay, so wards against the inversion and repulsion of magical energies. So it wards against the inversion and repulsion. So it makes your magic more effective? That is some straight up exorcist shit right there. And what are you even shooting at, ma'am? Oh, okay, there's a lizard man down there. A couple of lizard men down there. I'm afraid he was going to come up here with me, or try to. Really rather not fall down there, fellas. Got him. Was there a second one down there? Nice. Exemplary performance. Indeed, it was enough to make one pity our foe. Okay, now can we go back up? Yeah, here we go. I'm heavy again, aren't I? Shit. I'll tell you what, man. Uh, item weight management is a big deal in this game. Shifting all this stuff down from one helper to the next. There we go. That works for now. Lexi Price. Welcome in, Lexi Price. Yeah, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. I'm, I love that y'all remember that game. Because that was one of my favorites off the uh, Generation 1 Xbox. 
And let's have a brief look at the map here. Yeah, I think we've actually missed two paths further back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so there's a path further off this way. And then this is the way we were going earlier. Yeah. I mean, shit, and actually the graphics were pretty good for that game, especially at that time they were. No. Again, multiple paths forward. Okay. Yeah, some of these caves can be really quite large. I love smashing the lizard eggs. I love that you don't have to keep up with arrows in this one because it would be a, a bitch trying to keep this guy full on arrows if you had to actually purchase ammunition. Oh, crafting materials. I see one, two nodes of crafting materials in here. Yeah, not quite as dangerous as smashing uh, <laughs> Meyer Lurk eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Short round, double O seven. What's up, short round? Welcome in, man. Yeah, these these eggs, they don't seem to do anything except occasionally give you some loot where Mirelurk eggs will spawn enemies. Which I always enjoyed uh, using explosive weapons to destroy Mirelurk eggs. You know, the clutches of Mirelurk eggs. Oh, yeah. When does the new Fallout show release? I keep forgetting about that. April 11th, okay. Cool. Now we'll have something else to talk about at Days Gone Com. And let's see. Oh, I see. It kind of loops back around this way. All right. as far as it goes that way. No surprises off the backside. Okay, cool. All right. We're making good progress here. And then we'll take this side passage off to the right. Here we go. Looks like it's basically just going to loop back around this way. Okay. Ah, and it also spreads off this way. Nice. Panacea, which just made us heavy again. Shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I actually don't know what I just did. Shit. I just did something with a book.
I think I just cast a spell I didn't mean to cast. Like the the uh, like dungeon exploration in this one, going through these caves and crypts and stuff is fucking great so far. Ah, oh, I wonder. You can break through the fucking walls. Bad ass. Oh shit! And we found a fairy stone too. Damn, those are actually quite valuable. That's like, that's pretty much the only way you can like true fast travel in this game. All right, nice. Now it looks like there's still another passage off this way. Let's see if we can uh, loop back around and get that one. We want to go this way, was it? Oh, well, maybe not directly that way. This way. Ooh, no, I haven't seen the Twisted Metal show. Uh, I remember hearing it was actually decent, though. Or at least a, a fun watch, if nothing else. Ah, oh, that's right. There was another path. Right here. All right. this fucking place i love how it's a mix of like ancient ruins and just caves so it's like you know these ruins are what hundreds of thousands of years old how long would it take for a cave like this oh check it out we got assholes There's another one right here. There he is. That was a nice headshot, but these guys are weak to tail shots. You want to shoot them in the tail. Here, another one. Oh, shit, there are more. There's more right here. <laughs> I love when he throws them like that. That is so fucking funny. Okay, I'm not seeing any more right now. There may be more along the walls, though. That's a sneaky little trick they have hanging onto the walls like that. Nice. Damn, we've done really well so far. Strange. This place is not as I remember it. Hmm, I cannot fault your memory. We must get to the bottom of this. This place. Hmm, okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Does it not go any further? Oh, there's a chest here, though. That's cool. And another ore deposit. Saurian Skell Cape. Interesting. Oh, shit, I forgot. We have this fucking... <laughs> I've got this shield here. Dang it, Junior. I should have given that to my fighter dude. See if it's any better than what he's currently using. Heck yeah, it is. He needs to equip that. Right on. We just got him a better shield. <laughs> now, what is this? A little bit of resistance. Why not? <laughs> I have a lizard man cape on now. That's hilarious. Okay. Alright, I think we're about done here. way. Oh, look, another ore deposit. Damn, okay. <laughs> and we're over encumbered again. Let my stamina run low, right? I was like, why is he breathing all heavy? Oh, yeah, stamina is a thing. Yeah, we've done really well on this mission. That's fucking awesome. And we even, we fought a big dude too, like an ogre or something, when we first set out. any way to climb up there? I'm not sure what we'll find, but it might be something useful. Oh, yeah, we've already been up there, dear. Shall I assist? Uh, no, thank you, love. See that? I just caught where she said, shall I assist? You can hit the go button and she will actually go up there. Uh, but we've already looted that chest, so it's like we kind of don't need that right now. I do wish that they would keep up with stuff that you've already discovered because there's a lot of times where they'll tell you, hey, there's a chest up there. And you're like, yeah, dude, I've already looted that. Like, I'm wearing the gear that I got from there. My fellow soldiers. Well, now. Yeah, they made exploration fun again. So few games have managed to pull that off. I underestimated you, friend. I shall send word of your deeds to the captain. You've done well this day. I thank you. We'll see to the rest of this mess. What you mess? I killed all the monsters in there. There is no more mess. Has a few eggs left, I suppose. Now, I am curious. Uh, there is a bench over here. I just about breathed my fill of stagnant air. If I were meant to spend my days in darkness, I'd have been born a mole. <laughs> There's no great shock to me. Can we fast travel from these directly? No, this is just an arrival point. Okay. And then here, we should be able to sit on this and make it first light. No, wait, I think, hang on. Sit on the bench. Yeah, no complaining, pawns. Doze off is one of the options. So if you doze off on the bench, we just made it first light. Now, no one has been healed, 
Uh, cause that little bit of health that we've lost, that's just like, that's gone until we actually camp somewhere. But that might allow us to get back to town. If we go directly back to town. Yeah. If we take the path straight back, we might be able to get back to town, uh, before nightfall, but I'm willing to bet that we can get to this campsite before or shortly after nightfall if we go directly there. So let me double check the map. Yeah, we want to go north and hit the path north. Can we even go this way? How the fuck do you get up here? Get up there from here. Perhaps this way. What just Hold, happened? Sir. I'd rethink pressing onward if I were you. The village is crawling with Saurians. Forgive me. I didn't mean to startle you. I used to call this place home, you see, in times more peaceful. Thought we killed all the Saurians. Mm. You're the Arisen, are you? Well, that's something. We were hoping to reclaim our village. But it doesn't. We fled when the dragon attacked some days past, thinking we'd return once the. Easier said than done, clearly. In our absence, a bosk of Saurians have made our hmm. homes. Their I own. love that's the name for a group of lizard men is a bask of Saurians, like a, a flock of crows or uh, a murder of crows, I should say. A uh, flock of sheep, a bask of Saurians. That's do? cool. The guards not like to send soldiers all the way out here. <laughs> you just pick up the pawns and throw them off the cliff. <laughs> I just saw that. Uh, caught me off guard. Is that it is kind of frustrating how the pawns will walk up and just, hey, you want to hire me, don't you? I was like, dude, I I didn't even do a conversation prompt with you. I'm just walking down the road, minding my own business. You want to hire me, don't you? Fucking calm down, man. Ah, oh, but maybe <laughs> you are the arisen, I. Please, sir, do something, anything. I thought we had killed the Saurians. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's kill some Saurians, shall we? I'm gonna jump up on this. Oh man, give me something to stand on. Give me something tall to stand on, dang it. Oh, that's better. It's not better at all. If we mastered that attack, we would be invincible. <laughs> Is that really all of them? Wanting to report back now. Wow, that was actually easier than I expected, honestly. Is the deed done, good arisen? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, like they're car salesmen. <laughs> they are pushy like used car salesmen, aren't they? <laughs> I had not thought of that comparison yet. That's fucking perfect. You want to hire me, don't you? If you happen to pass by, not come visit. Not really, no. I should like for you to see this place as twas afore the dragons. A fine job by our men. Wait a few days, then return to Harv Village. Yeah, that's. That's probably not going to happen anytime soon, I homie. So. All right, let's go. Oh, and how am I doing on inventory carry weight? Shit, we're heavy again. I got to go on a diet, man. There. <laughs> 
Had to get some of that Saurian tail off of me. Oh, here's a... There's that campfire I was just looking for. So I guess we could camp for a couple of days, right? Oh, Warhorse heading out. All right, man. Good night. Yeah, shit, yeah. We'll see you at Days Gone Con, brother. Let's do some cooking. Yeah, check that out. I, I don't think that's an I don't think that's animation at all. I think that's actually like live video. Holy shit. What say we get some rest? I'm not sure I could face a trek with my belly so full. Indeed. Surely we've time for a short kip ere we continue on our merry way. I'd like to cook some more. I had meat that I don't want to go rotten. Can I not cook anymore? Really? Yeah, that looks like actual meat cooking. Absolutely. See, this one, this one right here, Sweep Shot, I tried using that during that fight with the Saurians. It, it really didn't seem to do anything. Like, it was just firing one arrow. It's supposed to shoot three arrows in a spread. Yeah, maybe I'm just missing it, but it really didn't look like it was doing anything. <laughs> Short round. I literally just tuned back in. I thought you were watching a cooking show. A uh, YouTube ad. Oh, you guys thought it was a YouTube ad. Oh, shit. We may have just had our camping kit broken. Did they break our camping kit? I think that broke our camping kit. Shit. There was a merchant here. Have you forgotten something arisen? Earlier. Rather lost. Perhaps the merchant is still there. If the merchant's still there, then they did have a camping kit I could buy. I don't know, I think they were right there. It looks like they've moved on. Yeah, no merchant. At last, we shall all be able to return to our home. I can hardly wait to bring these tidings to the other village. <laughs> it was way too good. Sometimes them little pipes hit back, don't they? The dragon's attack. For your sake, as well as ours, we'll do our utmost to see the Yeah, the scenery is incredible, yeah. Just looks great. Alright, so let's have a look at Quest. Return to Har Village in a few days' time to see how it's getting on. I uh, I don't think I want to just sit here on the bench for days waiting for that. Oh, oh yeah, some real co-op would be nice. Yeah. Am I heavy again? I'm not. Okay. Let's see if we can get to that next campsite. Harvest some meat first. I seem to recall there being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Shall I lead the way? I suppose you'll be yes, wanting a guide. Very well. Very well. I'll guide you there directly. 
Uh, I'm ready to set out for our destination when you are, Arisen. I bet you are. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? Yeah, lead the way, hon. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. I think these are the first human bandits that I've fought in this game. Oh, they have a wizard. I'm gonna win. They had a wizard. I'm glad I figured out how to auto-target, because that was actually kind of frustrating me initially that I couldn't just auto-target the enemies. Like, especially the faster-moving enemies. Is that it? Is that everybody? Nice. Prevailed by the skin of our teeth. We were overconfident in our abilities. No, we weren't. A painful reminder that fortune will not always favor us. No, it wasn't. We did just fine. What are you talking about? I do hear, what is that, monsters or something? I hear something else nearby. if you please ah you did s oh hello well you said there was a treasure chest nearby but i wasn't expecting this ah uh, that's what i was hearing where are the enemies at Okay, and I was going to explore this uh, cellar in here. MXT, what's up, man? Welcome in, bud. Oh, Lexi Price, are you heading out? All right, well, hey, thank you for being here. I don't know what's going on here. Is that like zombies or something? There we go. That's better. I love when they start blasting stuff with lightning. That is too cool. There's another enemy in there, see. Kick this fucking box. There. Excellent. Just what I was hoping for. Oh, we finally arrived. I thought we'd never make it. Hmm. A 
Well, she was right. There were some chests in here. And some gold. What are we doing on encumbrance? I'm fucking heavy again. Okay. Oh, now he's heavy. Shit. Are y'all talking about Gauntlet? I think there's a version of that available on PlayStation. Like a newer version, uh, like on newer systems, I mean to say. to the village. Yeah, see, I don't think we can use this campsite now because I think my camping kit... Can we? We can make camp? You cannot make camp without a camping kit. Of course not. Alright. Let's go to a bench and see if we can wait till morning again. So there were several benches around here. There we go. And you can simply doze off until morning. Did we make it morning? Yeah, I remember playing Gauntlet in the actual arcade. And then I think there was like a... What, like a sup Super Nintendo version, I believe? Where's that guy that wanted... Oh, here he is. At last. We shall all be able... I should like for you to see this place as it was before the dragon's attack. Okay. Never mind. Let's go. And what time is it? We did make it morning, right? Yeah, see, I haven't figured out. Like, there's no sun on the map at all now. I have no idea what time it is. To serve the arisen. Not even a storm shall draw a complaint from my lips. Mm -hmm. It'll be worth it in the end if we return. <laughs> you got in trouble skipping school. <laughs> skipping school to play at arcades. Kids these days, man. Looks like enemies have respawned. Hardly ideal conditions. All I can think about are my wet boots. Didn't you just say you weren't going to complain? really doesn't do much damage when you're not aiming with it. Fear not. You're safe with me. Level up. Ah, there are useful ingredients to be 
gathered here, I'll wager. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. And the action is so good in this. Like, even just playing as an archer is still fun. Shit, I wanted to hit that tail. That's not what I meant. I meant his literal tail. Just did. Oh, I see. Triangle is exploding shot. I keep forgetting about explosive arrows. Like, I don't need them on these smaller, weaker enemies, but still. Be nice to stop forgetting it. Uh, yeah, short round, it might have a bit of an odd color tone, I suppose. You do make the pain go away, because I'm about to fucking die. Now we may not die in battle, but it's a far cry from being in this. Let the elements power your strikes! That was a little bit intense, man. We very nearly died. Not compared to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. Now the combat has been addictive so far. It's a really satisfying combat loop. their own impatience. You've a knack for drawing the enemy, Arisen. No call here. He <laughs> popped him right in the fucking face. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Oh yeah, you do not want to get hit with those multiple spear strikes that they do. I look to have priced 
for that. I'm trying to shoot him in the tail. There we go. The tail is their weak spot. Across this little land bridge here. Let's see. Oh, short round asking, are your teammates NPCs or actual players? They are NPCs. Uh, you can see on this screen right here, there's the main character, Spawnicus Rex. And then there's the next character who's Tank. Uh, Tank is uh, my main pawn, which he's one I actually made him myself. Uh, you have full control of him. He levels up with you and everything. Uh, like, as you get XP, he gets XP. The other two, uh, Nero and Annie, I didn't make those. I just borrowed them. I purchased them from, an, basically rented them from another player. These are actual pawns from another player's game. Um, and while they're adventuring with me, they're learning things about the missions I'm doing. They're learning things about the quest that we're completing. And uh, they're also, like, learning where treasure chests are and things like that. They're learning where crafting materials are. And when the person who owns that pawn is ex adventuring with them, it will the pawn will actually be able to give them advice about those missions and tell them where those quests are and where those chests are and things like that. And uh, the same goes for me. Um they will tell me about other adventures they've had. So sometimes you'll have your pawns will tell you, hey, I believe there's a chest nearby. Well, that's because they've actually found that chest in another game with another player. But only your main pawn is like yours that levels up with you. The other two are borrowed from other players, basically. Man, I kind of want to see if we can take that ogre. Or whatever kind of creature. Cyclops. There's a cyclops nearby. I kind of want to see if we can take him. That is such a cool system. I know it's it's one of those things that it's kind of like if you guys are familiar with Death Stranding, 
where there is a bit of multiplayer element to Death Stranding in that other players, when they build stuff, you can benefit from that. Like if they build a bridge, you can walk across the bridge. You know, if they build a like a zip line or whatever, you can use that yourself to travel. And it's kind of like the only the only influence that other players can have on your game at all is beneficial to you. Like specifically beneficial in a good way. Like there's no way that another player can harm or negatively impact your playthrough. All they can do is borrow your pawn, which lets your pawn come back with sometimes with new loot. Uh, your, your pawns will sometimes come back with gear on them. That's good stuff. Uh, you can give gear to others if they've helped you. Uh, so I have no fucking idea what time it is, but I think we're close enough to the town to just head straight back to the town. Uh, especially if we manage to avoid the Cyclops over here. I would like to test my hand against the Cyclops again, but not right now. We've done a lot of adventuring, and I want to get back to camp and rest and uh, dump all my loot and all that stuff. Would you target the one that's right here in front of me, please? Thank you. One thing I don't like about the auto target, it's a little bit tricky to tell it which one you're actually aiming at. I hear more goblins. Oh, he's down here. <laughs> He was directly below me. Oh, did you see that? My wizard just picked that goblin up and chunked his ass. She picked him up and threw him all the way over here. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Rex needs to take a dump. Yeah, my character needs to go home and take a dump. <laughs> That's what I've always called it. it. I know it's crude, but it's still funny to me. Like, you've been out adventuring for a while and your inventory is full of loot. And you're kind of over encumbered and stuff from all the loot. It's like, oh, man, I got to go home and dump some of this loot. <laughs> got to go home and take a dump, man. <laughs> it's a great analogy, I know. <laughs> What's that character from, uh, oh, my God, what is that? The movie uh, American Pie, there was one of the characters in there, his nickname was Shitbreak. Because, like, at the same time, every day he would leave school to go home and use the bathroom. I hadn't thought about that in a while. <laughs> anyway. Mm, all right, check the map. Mm, I'll tell you what, uh, I I don't want to shut it down. Uh, let's actually keep going for a little while. I'm going to take a brief intermission, maybe grab some whiskey, uh, and uh, maybe take a shit break. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, the break won't take that long. I'm just going to go grab a drink and be right back. Don't go anywhere, man. We're coming right back. See y'all real soon. Hello, YouTube. How we doing today? So I'm working on some Ghost of Tsushima here, trying to warm up for tonight's live stream. And I'm really enjoying this quest line with Yuna. So I wanted to uh, record a couple of missions that I'm doing for her, but it's really challenging for me because this particular mission requires absolute stealth. You cannot be spotted. Most of my viewers know how difficult that is for me. So let's jump into it here and see if we can actually pull this off or not. Looks like a fortress. The Mamushi brothers don't want anyone to see what goes on behind those walls. They're running a slave camp. You've been inside. Taka and I are the only ones who ever escaped. When were you imprisoned here? A lifetime ago. Taka and I were still children. Do you remember what happened? Every moment. 
Kichizo's beatings, the stink of Manzo's breath, and Taizo's filthy little hands. If we kill them, we'll send a message to their master. Draw Altan out of hiding. about escaping. Mamashi brothers were always cruel. Never like this. Our town brings out the best in people. Jin, I... I can't do this. I just... I can't go back in there. You don't have to. Stay here. I will deliver your vengeance. I will deliver your vengeance. Make them I suffer, love that Jin. Line. Taka. All right, I believe we are back. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, all right. Oh, shit. Oops, I spilt a little bit of whiskey when I poured that. Wasting perfectly good whiskey. What's wrong with you, Junior? Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, let's go for a bit longer, shall we? Alright, now we're back in town. Oh, let's do some stuffy junk. Actually, I wanted to double check something in my settings. This. Priority of materials to combine. So if I'm combining stuff, first it will take stuff out of the pawns inventories. And then it will give it to me. I want it to go to storage. Because I'm already kind of heavily encumbered. And I want to put some stuff in storage. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Ooh, some Jameson would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, stick man, get you a whiskey. <laughs> Quick dump mission. Oh, Nylon Girl, yeah, that was one of my favorite missions in Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, uh, that, I had fun playing that one. Like, enough that I, I just like, I don't give a shit if anybody watches this. I need to make a video of this, because this is cool. don't understand how the combine menu works. I see. Okay, they're grayed out, meaning they can't be combined with anything? Nothing at all? Hmm. Why not? Exquisite. Reverent. Restores an astonishing amount of health and stamina. Well, fuck yeah, let's make some of those. I see you could make dried fish. Ah, and then mixing fish and... Okay, I can mix rotten fish and a rotten potato to make oil for the lantern. 
That's cool. That's how you make lantern oil. You combine rotten items. Huh. That's fucking neat. I didn't know that. Okay, dried fruits. Oh, you can't even smell, Jameson. Leaves you in a bad way, huh? Damn. Ooh, I had a Japanese whiskey one time, long time ago. Uh, it was the, it was a whiskey that had the snake in it. There was actually a snake in it, and you could, like, swirl the bottle, and you could see the fucking snake scales floating around in there, like a fucking snow globe with a snake in it. And it was actually really good whiskey, too. It was delicious whiskey. Oh, yeah, you didn't know about the oil thing? Yeah, shit, I just found it out myself. That's crazy. Dried fruit, okay. No, I'm basically just combining stuff just to, like, uh, make sure it doesn't go rotten in my inventory. Okay, well, that looks like everything we can combine that I know of. John Sebastian, hello. Hello and welcome. I love this game. I'm having so much fun with this. That, that's why we're going long tonight. I went long on Monday night, my first night playing this, and I'll go for a little bit longer tonight for sure. A Habu Pit Viper. Is that what was in there? <laughs> a certain amount of desperation to necking a bottle of whiskey. All right, let's go put some stuff in the inventory. I want to put some stuff away. What about you seems familiar. I fear I've no wisdom. Well, mate, you are. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey. So one of the first things I need to do is withdraw one of these camping kits. Foremost hospitality. And then we'll deposit like pretty much everything that we're not actually using. These don't weigh much. We'll keep those. So I'm afraid to keep, I think I'll just keep like one of each of these potions in case I actually need it. Exquisite Roborant. I'm gonna, no, that doesn't weigh much either, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put those away. Just because I have no intention of using the good stuff. A lantern oil. I don't need that many of those. Let's keep one. Should use those. Oh, I meant to put all of them in. There. No. Green slime can be used to enhance equipment. I don't know that I want my equipment enhanced with green slime. Oh, we've picked up a couple of other rings. Reduces damage from fire. That I guess makes you resist it to sleep. That sounds handy, right? <laughs> that session did not end well. Okay. 
Okay. We got his inventory thinned down. Ah, oh, nice. Just made a full wake stone. That's a way to revive yourself. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let me go back into here. I want to withdraw that camping kit. We'll back out of here. Much obliged. And give that camping kit to my fighter dude. That guy. There we go. Now we're in pretty good shape weight-wise. And let me see what these are. Increases your carry capacity. And shit, really, I should give those to my helper there. He's my, my mule and my tank. Oh, you're playing Lo Wong on New Game Plus Plus. Dragon's Dogma is a lot of fun, man. I mean, uh, Rise of the Ronin, Claire is having a lot of fun with Rise of the Ronin. If you're if you're clear, I'm sorry. If you're curious about uh, Rise of the Ronin, uh, take a look at Claire's playthrough. I've just put a link to her channel in the chat. Uh, she is currently playing Rise of the Ronin. And she's having a blast with it, and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I intend to play it myself uh, in the near future. Yeah, my problem was. Uh, Spiced rum and Coke. I used to drink uh, spiced rum and Coca-Cola was my favorite drink. And uh, I overdid it one time, made myself sick on uh, spiced rum and Coke. And I, I, I can't even smell that kind of spiced rum anymore. It will, it'll kind of turn my stomach just smelling it. Uh, <clears throat> but, um, I can drink different types of spiced rum because that was Captain Morgan's spiced rum that I was drinking back then, and I, I can't stand Captain Morgan's anymore. Uh, but there's another type of spiced rum that's even better. That's called Sailor Jerry's, I believe. The Sailor Jerry's is really good, and I can still drink that. It doesn't it doesn't bother me the way that uh, Captain Morgan do did or does now. All right, let's see if we can enhance any of our items or buy anything better. Quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember. Yeah, he had one. Yeah, and it's not even that much better. It's slightly better magic defense and slightly better knockdown resistance. And this is what I'm currently wearing, but it's mine has been upgraded to touch. Misers die early deaths. Wait a minute. Where are my helpers at? To see you again. Man, would y'all get over here? As you wish, I shall return directly. There we go. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. Oh, vodka. You did some exorcist level puking. Oh, my yuck. <laughs> and quality is what you need if you want to survive. Seems like most folks have a story about that, uh, about tequila. Oh, John Sebastian, you heading out? All right. Hey, well, thank you for being here. We'll see you next time. Ah, and I need to say hello to Darian. I don't see. Oh, shoot. Did I? I'm on top chat here. Uh, I see someone saying hi to Darian, but I don't see Darian's message. Switching over to live chat. And there it is, Darian Star. Hello. I don't know why that was... For some reason, YouTube filtered out your hey everyone with me on top chat. I had to switch over to live chat to see the comment, hey everyone. Oh, stick man, that you just said what I was saying. <laughs> Most people with that kind of a story, it was tequila. <laughs> Fortunately, I, I don't have any uh, crazy tequila stories. Oh, wow. All of this shit. The helms are way better. Ooh. 
hello. Damn. That's a good shit right there. Fuck, we might be about to spend 13,000 gold on some armor for my for my little helper there. Son of a beast. And here's the same level quality of pants for 11.5. Damn. Now these don't offer, these offer some bonuses, just a little bit of resistances. I certainly won't be purchasing anything like that, but if we pick some up, I'll use them. Oh, here we go. Slightly increases the maximum amount of weight the wearer can carry, but that's like 6,500. God damn. <laughs> An ex-roommate had his experience with te tequila and had to be helped to hold the bucket. Yuck. Mmm. Sambuca. I don't think I've ever had that. Yeah, thanks, YouTube. <laughs> Alright, I actually don't think I want to spend any money just yet. Let's try enhancing what we're currently wearing if we can. Yeah, I can enhance my bow. Nice. Max out my helm. I don't have a chopper horn. I don't know what a chopper is yet. And I need chopper horn for this as well. I don't know what a chopper is. I don't think I've encountered a chopper yet. Cool, we can enhance his sword several times. Nice. We get a no. We can enhance his shield. Outstanding. Yeah, a couple times on the shield. Nice. Oh, right on. We can max out the shield. That's excellent. We can do his plate mail armor too. A little bit, at least. Cool. Interesting. I don't intend to upgrade those for anybody. Now we'll have another quick look and see how stuff compares with the uh, upgraded armor now that we've upgraded the stuff. Hmm. Yeah, there is some that is better. Okay. I'll save up for these. I can get better armor for my main character. And it looks like we can get better armor for my fighter, too. He's, what was it, the guardian plate? But we'll need quite a bit of gold. Let's Many go look thanks. at weapons as I well. The business. Oh, yeah, it kind of tastes like coffee and black licorice. Interesting. Come take a look. You'll be glad you did. Mmm. The Savage Fang bow. Looks like it's made of horns, not fangs, but all right. Oh, that, that hoe was expensive. God damn. All right. And what can we do for Tank? Anything better than what he's currently got? No, we do not have any swords for him. Nice, okay. Do come again. Right on, you kiddos made it two weeks without another panic attack. I'm gonna take her to Disney World if she'll sleep in her bed and she is bought in. All right. Well, good job. All right, and I should probably get some more powerful pawns now that I'm level 14. I, well, I don't have much money for getting pawns, though. Let's go see what we can do. It takes a specific type of currency to uh, recruit more powerful pawns. 
I don't have much of it yet. Yeah, bribery works. Yeah, it can do. All right. So what I'm looking for is wizards, spellcasters. Ideally, with I want a uh, Haladum and or Anandine. I see this Jerosh, this lion dude here. He's a bit of a badass. He's got a uh, excellent fire, lightning. He's got Haladum. And he's got Palladium, which I think is like a shield type spell. So he's pretty cool. I'd actually uh, use him. I'd like to find another one that has Anandine. There's another one with the same list of spells. Fire, Lightning, Halidom, and Shield. Oh, I don't know what some of these spells are. What is Argent Tonic? And what is Empyrean? I do not know what those mean. Hang on, let me look these up. Like, I actually don't know what that is. Oh shit, Argent Tonic instantly restores health to the caster or an ally. Nice, so that's, oh, okay. Yeah, well I think we just found, well this one's roughly the same level though as me. So that's, like she's got a nice list of skills, but her uh, level isn't quite high enough. And what is Empyrean? Okay, so we know Argent Tonic is a healing spell, an instant heal. Can't find anything just telling me what the fuck Imperium is. Here's how to unlock it. I'd rather just know what the fuck it is. Maybe that will tell me if I want to unlock it. Here we go. Uh, Empyrean conjures an orb of holy power that deals damage in all directions. Wow. So it's like a nuke or something. Okay. So this, I'm trying to use my mouse pointer. <laughs> uh, so this lady, Mandy, uh, she has fire, lightning, holy damage, holy nuke. And a healing spell, so that's actually a pretty badass fucking helper there, but she's too low level. This other one, Kel, over here, has fire, lightning, the ability to put fire on our weapons, and uh, Empyrean, which is the, that's the one that's the holy nuke. Okay, that might actually be someone to consider. They're slightly higher level than myself. do we have oh this guy hi there so he's got fire magic empyrean palladium celerity oh so he's got one fire spell and then buffs uh, no that's right empyrean is the holy magic spell and then a shield spell and a speed up spell that's cool I wonder exactly what celerity does it's got to be some kind of like increased speed What is celerity?
just oh okay so it puts like a sigil that increases the speed of allies within range okay that's interesting Mega Man, the Blue Lion. What's up, man? Hey, you're not too late. We're going long tonight. <laughs> oh, stick man, you heading toward the exit? All right, brother. Well, hey, thank you for being here, man. Appreciate you joining us tonight. We'll see you later. Yeah, I don't know who to take, man. I guess I'll probably hold off for a little while. There's something else. Well, actually, I really like this guy. I think I'm going to go ahead and travel with this dude. This, uh, Jarosh, because he's got fire, lightning, shield, and, uh, the one that removes debilitating statuses. So I think I'm going to go ahead and hire him. My strength ...and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Now let's do it. And which one do I want to dismiss... Can you tell me what spells they have? Here we go. Okay. So this one is Fire Lightning. Oh, she has the high versions of these spells. Does he have? He does have. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to use him to replace her. She's All been told. a very good helper. I'm rather very good helper, thank you. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Indeed. All right, and then what you can do if you're not happy with the other options, you can actually head out of the rift, just leave the area, and when you go back in, it will refresh uh, all of the... Uh, the gist of it is... Now, anyway, you can go back in and it will refresh what's available. So you give them a moment to spawn in, and then we can walk around and start checking to see what we have here. And what I'm mostly looking for now is someone with healing, uh, anandine specifically, and I'd like to have someone who can put fire or lightning or ice or something on our weapons. That would be a lot of fun as well. Hmm, I see a couple more spell effects I'm not familiar with. Let's see. Okay. Um, salamander. I don't know what that is. Conjures a flame that does continuous damage. All right. And then what's the other one there? Frigger. I don't know what that is, but it Sounds like something dirty and perverted. Ice damage. Okay. Yeah, it's cold spill. Oh, shit. What do we have here? Nylon long girl right on long stream cheers yeah well thank you dear thank you cheers i hope you can see that on the camera cheers <laughs> all right so what we're looking for see this one eagle eagle over there is a badass bunch of high level damage dealing spells but i really need someone that offers some healing magic Without some healing magic, I'm afraid they're just not that useful to me, honestly. Like, we can deal damage. I, I don't necessarily need my wizard for that. What I need a wizard for specifically is healing magic. Alright, so we're going to exit and try again. 
and see what else we can find. Now, thank you so much, really. Yeah, like, like I say, right now in particular is a great time. If anyone is like uh, willing or able or whatever to make uh, channel contributions for the month of March, everything that I get in March is going to be really, really helpful to me when Days Gone Com comes around because you know, and I don't mind sharing this with you all. The way the YouTube ad revenue works, or not just ad revenue, but like these the contributions like this, uh, the way that works... On the 21st of March, I got a check for all the revenue generated in February. And on the 21st of April, I'll get a check for all the revenue generated in March. So it's like you're always a month behind the, the, YouTube, at, the YouTube payments come out on the 21st of the month. And it's always for the previous month. So April 21st, right before Days Gone come. I'll get the check for everything we generated in March. So all of the stuff that's coming in in March will actually help us. Will actually help us with Days Gone Com because I'll get it just in time for Days Gone. I'll get it about a week before Days Gone Com comes around. So seriously, thank I. I say that specifically to say no, really, right now. Thank you. That's actually really helpful. Uh, right now. Man, oh, okay, Halodom. We already have Halodom. What I'm looking for specifically is Anandine. Somebody's got to have Anandine. I, oh, wait, this one has uh, Argent Tonic, but only one healing and one fire spell, and they're like only one level above me, so really not that helpful. Okay, shit. I'll refresh again. I need somebody with Anandine or Argent Tonic, but I'd like for them to have a few more skills. It'd be a little bit higher level than me, because that's the key, is like, if you're bringing pawns with you that are higher level than you are, they're dealing better damage than you are. Or at least dealing the best damage that they can be. Hey, goal. There's another one that I don't know what it is. Ah, Darian Star, you've never seen this game. Uh, I apologize. This bit that I'm doing right now is a little bit boring, but it ties into one of the most amazing features of this game. Uh, in this game, you have a party of four people. You have your main play player character. That's the guy that's kind of highlighted in white with a bow on his back there. That's me. Uh, that's your main player character. And you have a main helper that follows you. That's your primary helper. You assign their skills. You assign what they look like. Uh, you assign their fighting skill, their fighting style, and all of that. And they'll actually level up with you. Uh, as you gain XP, they will gain XP. And then you can have two other helpers that are hired, basically just hired from the game or borrowed from other players. And what I'm doing right now is I'm looking through the helpers that I can select for somebody with the specific skills that I want. Um, right now I'm trying to figure out what the spell Hagal is. Oh, it's like a blizzard. Like a massive blizzard spell. I knew by the blue icon that it was cold magic. But I wasn't sure exactly what. So yeah, I'm, I'm just having difficulty finding exactly the helper that I want because I need someone with a very specific spell. And I'm just kind of like cycling through them until I find the one that I need. I'm not having great luck with it. Damn. Yeah, I'm only going to do one more rotation of it. I don't want to spend all night in here. Yeah, I'm picking a new follower, basically, but looking for a specific skill. Uh, I need someone that's got healing magic. It is very similar to Skyrim, actually, just better. Uh, in this game, you're, the helpers actually help. They don't just block doorways. Yeah, the helpers don't just block doorways and carry your burdens for you. 
Uh, they actually really help, and I think I just found the one I want, actually. Murder Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we may have to travel with Murder Kitty for a little while. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Uh, and also, he's got one of the spells I want. Argent Tonic is a healing ability, which uh, I think we're probably going to take this guy. I'll look around for a bit, see what else we have. But I think that's the one we want. I don't even see anybody that has Anandine, so we'll probably just take the Argent Tonic one. Those are both healing abilities. Ah, here we go. Now, here's another dude. This is Buddy. Uh, I can hire him for 184 Rift Crystals. He has massive fire damage, massive lightning damage, and he can give me fire on my weapons. And he's got a healing spell. Uh, the other guy, Murder Kitty, where is he at? That's just too fucking cool. Murder Kitty has massive lightning. Uh, he can grant fire and lightning on our weapons, and he has the heal. That's the guy. That's the one right there. He can give us two different status effects on our weapons, fire or lightning, uh, and he can uh, cast healing. Yeah, that's the dude right there. And I'm going to hire him, and we're going to replace this other lower-level pawn, Annie. Yes, please. Now, I've done something kind of cool that I really didn't necessarily intend to do. But I've made it where my entire party, everybody currently traveling with me, is cat people. <laughs> Which... The reason I think that's funny is because that's a new playable race in this game. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, they added in a new race of playable characters. It's the cat people. They're called Beastrin. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Yeah, all right. So this should be cool because these guys are much more powerful spellcasters and they have a pretty good spread of abilities because they can cast different types of buffs on us. Uh, they can cast different types of healing because one guy has a healing spell that will remove debilitating effects. The other guy has a healing spell that just refills your health for you. Uh, so I can both remove negative effects and heal up. And they can do like fire damage, lightning damage, and they can add fire and lightning damage to our weapons. So it's that's a pretty good split of abilities right there. I don't think I'll be trading helpers for a little while. Okay, I think that's about it for me for tonight. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. Actually, I should go to the title screen. Yeah, let's go ahead and shut it down for the night. Uh, yeah, that's it for me, man. I, I cannot tell you guys, I just cannot even express how pleased I am to be sharing this playthrough with y'all. I've been looking forward to this game for over a decade uh, I played the original um, years ago on the Xbox 360, and then when they released some DLC for it, the Dark Arisen DLC, they made that uh, a PS4 version. I bought it again and played it again on PS4. So I've played it on Xbox 360, and I've played it on PS4. Uh, and I did. I started another playthrough of it a couple of years ago, but I was just looking for something to play after Days Gone. And I didn't finish that playthrough, but like even just a couple years ago, I was playing this just for fun. Uh, and so now that they've come out with the sequel, I knew I had to play it. This is one of the this is one of the only games I've bought in a long time that I just flat out paid full price for it because I was willing to pay full price while it was brand new. Uh, generally, I wait for games to be on sale for a while before I will before I'll even bother spending money on them. I wait till they're on sale. Uh, but this one I knew I had to have. Uh, so anyway, uh, what else do we have going on? Uh, let's see. For the rest of the week, we have... Shit, what is today? Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday. So tomorrow morning, Claire should be playing some um, Rise of the Ronin on her channel, on the 8-Bit Terror channel. Uh, she's playing Rise of the Ronin. Uh, she took today off because her kiddo was sick, uh, but he's feeling much better. So I imagine she will be streaming tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Then Friday, I will be playing Days Gone. Uh, for the foreseeable future of this channel, uh, Days Gone will be on Fridays. Friday will always be a Days Gone live stream. 
Uh, especially uh, as long as my day job schedule allows for that. Because right now I'm working a day job that's just Monday through Friday, pretty much regular business hours. Uh, so I'm home on the evenings, Friday evenings. As long as that holds true, we're going to be doing Days Gone on Friday night. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Days Gone Com is coming up, folks. It's getting close. Uh, if you are interested, um, you need to let us know. You need to, uh, if you want to come to Days Gone Com with us, meet up with us in Denver last weekend of April, uh, you will need to purchase a ticket for each person that you intend to bring. Uh, that is 15 bucks for the tickets. Obviously, at that price, we're not trying to like pay for the event with the price of the tickets. Uh, that's literally just an amount to show that you're serious, that you're actually committed to coming. Uh, and that gets you on the list where we can uh, send out all of the info, the specific info for the hotel and the list of events that we have planned and stuff like that. Uh, but we're getting close. Uh, it's almost time. Um, it's almost too late for folks to start making travel arrangements. So if you're intending, if you are intending to come to Days Gone Calm 2024, you need to let us know soon uh, and purchase your tickets now. Um, <clears throat> what else do we have? Um, I don't think I have any more specific announcements to make. Uh, not that I can think of. Um, yeah, shit, that's it. That's all I got, man. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me while I, uh, nerd out over this video game. Uh, and yeah, just thank you for your continued support. I really do appreciate you guys. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Good night, y'all.